So next, I want to talk about some important terms and definitions that are going to help us make sense of and decipher this really important upcoming theorem. And so the first definition I want us to look at is what does it mean for a sequence to be bounded? So we say that a sequence is bounded if there exists two numbers, little m and big M, such that the terms in our sequence can be uh, squeezed in between little m and big M. We can think of little m as like a minimum value or a lower bound for the terms in our sequence and capital M as like a maximum or an upper bound for the terms in our sequence. And so all the terms in our sequence, no matter what the n value is, can be squeezed between these two numbers, little m and big M. So for a sequence to be bounded, it has to have both this lower bound as well as this upper bound. Uh, there are cases where our sequence is not totally bounded, but only bounded from one side. So it might be um, bounded from below or bounded from above. But in order to be bounded, it has to be bounded on both sides. So another important term or definition that we're going to need is what does it mean for a sequence to be monotone? And so we say a sequence is monotone if it is either always increasing past a certain point or for some index value greater than some other given index value, like maybe after the fifth term, it's always increasing, or maybe after the, the fifth term, it's always decreasing. So a sequence is monotone, essentially, if after some point, it is either always going to be increasing or it is always going to be decreasing, it always has one type of behavior after a certain point. And with these two definitions, we can now talk about what we call the monotone convergence theorem, which I have written simply up here. So this theorem says that if a sequence is bounded and monotonic, it will always converge. And we're not going to go through a very detailed or rigorous proof of this theorem, but a quick little picture should help us make sense of it. So if our sequence is bounded, that means there exists some number capital M or some maximum value. that The terms in our sequence are always below. And there also is going to exist some lower bound or minimum value, little m, that the terms in our sequence are always above. And so that's what we get for a, uh, a sequence being bounded. But if we also know a sequence is monotonic, then we know maybe uh, initially it has some weird behavior, like it oscillates a little bit. But after a certain point, it's either always going to be increasing or always be decreasing. And so in this case, if our sequence is eventually always increasing in that style of monotonicity, I think that's a word, then that means after a certain point, the terms in our sequence are going to have to say always be getting bigger. But if they're always getting bigger and are bounded above by some maximum value, that means they have to slowly and eventually approach that maximum value. And so that means our sequence must converge to whatever that maximum value may be. So remember, this theorem says that if we are both bounded and monotonic, then we are guaranteed convergence. But the, uh, the converse or reverse of this theorem is not necessarily true. So just because we converge does not mean we are monotonic and bounded. One of our theorems in our textbook, which I'm not going to write down, does say if our sequence converges, then it must be bounded. Um, however, it does not also have to be monotonic. Just as a quick little example, consider the... Uh, the sequence that we saw earlier, negative 1 to the n over n, that sequence is essentially monotonic in absolute value if we ignore the alternating negative 1 in the numerator. But that negative 1 in the numerator means that it is not going to be monotonic because it's switching from positive to negative values and kind of therefore switching from increasing to decreasing. But what we do know about the terms in this sequence is that they are going to go eventually to zero. We saw that using the squeeze theorem. So here is an example of a sequence that is not monotonic, but it is bounded and it converges. But there are other examples of sequences that are bounded, but not monotonic and do not converge or diverge. And we saw one of those earlier. Our sequence cosine of n is definitely a bounded sequence. Right? Those values are always between negative one and positive one, but it is not monotonic and it's not going to converge either. So both of these are bounded. Neither of them are monotonic, and we can't have any kind of final or general statement about their convergence. Either can happen just depending on the sequence itself. Only if we are both bounded and monotonic are we guaranteed that the sequence will converge.